greetings and salutations, Renee Box Young. Salute from the South. I appreciate each and every one of you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, showing the love and support, you know, uh, on my platform. I appreciate you guys. I thank you guys so much. Love you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe and, and sound, you know, in these crazy times we're living in. And what can make it? more crazy you know or crazier uh kanye west running for president uh his campaign uh i'm sure you guys all saw it <laughs> that thing's going viral you know um you know those clips or whatever of kanye west you know i i don't know where to start but i want to kind of start on this like um <clears throat> you know there are several things to say here you know when you analyze that recent video of him campaigning and his campaign um, the things that he was saying, and more than anything, how he was acting, right? Um, you know, you go back to, you know, the trajectory and analyze Kanye's trajectory as far as the interviews, you know, um, you know, he's the forerunner, I guess, in that fashion, you know, and that uh, of clothing, and it's a weird fashion in my humble opinion, all right? Um, and, you know, the interviews and, you know, the press following him in public, how he explodes, how he, you know, seems normal and all of a sudden just starts exploding on, a, on on interviews, several interviews. I mean, you guys know him. If you don't, you know, this this kind of rem reminds me of, you know, his, the way he acts uh, and the way he acted, specifically speaking, uh, in this campaign, you know, that's viral, uh, you know, these videos, this video that's viral of him, you know, how he starts, he talks about Harriet Hub Tubman, you know, uh, rest in peace. You know, um, and how he talks about him, you know, being in Paris or what have you, wearing leather pants, and God told him, don't bleep with my uh, vision or I'll bleep with yours, something along those lines, as if God would curse, right? But, um, you know, I, I'm not judging him as far as a spiritual background and things like that, but. And then he and then he starts, you know, talking about his, his, you know, him, him, you know, if it wasn't for his mom, you know, all, all due respect to his mom, you know, what I mean, but, um, you know, he wouldn't be alive and his dad wasn't there for him, things like that, right? You know, and then he starts crying and, you know, the way, okay, I'm, I'm explaining all this so you can analyze it because, <clears throat> excuse me, this all reminds me of people, you know, who have had issues in their lives. You know, you can just go, you can just go, I mean, you don't have to be a psychologist, you don't have to be, you know, a psychological, you know, a, you know, a body language expert to know that Kanye has some issues, man, he has some mental issues, it's going all over the place, it's all, it's all going viral, you know, Twitter, you know, celebrities, people on Twitter and social media are saying the same things, you don't have to be an expert to understand these things, you know, just gotta be human, I mean, he just started breaking down and crying, you know, um, I understand, you know, he was emotional, you know, I'm sure he had a hard background, I haven't studied his life or anything like that, but, you know, first of all, because I don't listen to hip hop, you know what I mean, I mean, I do like the beats, I appreciate beats and things like that, I used to listen to it a lot, but not, not anymore, you know, uh, but I definitely appreciate it, you know, there's, there are beautiful beats in hip hop, you know what I'm saying, but you know, I respect it, you know what I mean, but, um, that's what I'm saying, I don't, I haven't really studied Kanye really as far as his personal life and, you know, but I have, seen several interviews of him and things like that throughout the years and the way he acts you know you all know he has been in a rehab he disappeared all of a sudden and then when he started reappearing he was with donald trump you know so you know these things get you get you to think like he, okay i'm getting back to what i'm saying that this reminds me of how r kelly you know that also that seems like a lot of people forgot about it that uh very very famous clip where he was interviewed you know, I don't. I forgot the name of the reporter. You know, they were in a room, um, and R. Kelly just, you know, he was being asked about, you know, his sexual, you know, misconduct. You, I guess you could say, right? Um, uh, and he just blew up. You know, he's like, he's like, you know, are you, uh, the, I thought forgot what the reporter asked him, but you know, she's like, are they just trying to attack you, or is this wrong, or I don't know, is this true or false or whatever? And he's like, absolutely absolutely you know and then he just started you know, 30 years and you know he just started crying and oh you guys are just you know you're killing me and then he just started getting up and crying looking at the camera yelling 
a lot of people, it seems like they're not connecting this with that, you guys. You know, like, um, go back to R. Kelly. Look at that interview and look at Kanye West. They're kind of similar, man, in the way they're reacting. And now you also go back to Kanye West, you know, in public outbursts. I understand, man, the press, paparazzi, whatever you want to call it. I mean, uh, the tabloids, whatever, reporters. I'm sure it gets annoying, you know, being a famous person. I'm sure it gets annoying, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna under, I'm, I'm not gonna undermine that, you know. As a celebrity, imagine, you know, you, 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 you know, you're being a celebrity. You're gonna, you're not gonna have much privacy, especially in Kanye West's status, you know, um, Con, Kanye West's status, like you know, Jay Z, things like that, you know, people like that. Sorry, uh, you know, you, 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 it seems like you have no privacy, you know, celebrities, athletes, things like actors, whatever. And I'm sure it's annoying. I mean, you want your privacy, you know what I mean, but. Most people control it, you know. Um, Kanye doesn't, you know. He runs in the camera's faces. Get the f out! Don't don't take no dang pictures. Blah, blah, blah. Screaming, yelling, just going crazy. You can just hear it in his voice. And you know, in this campaign, you know, just breaking down. I mean, how how do you expect, you know? And and, and what's even more, what's even worse is that you know we're in the middle of a you know a, just a worldwide crisis. United States in particular, you know. You know, with the racial, you know, issues with cops and, and it's just, you know, things are deteriorating in those aspects, you know, and you got Kanye West coming out here running for president. This reminds me of recent, oh, you know, some time ago also Oscar De La Hoya was, was announcing he wanted to be, you know, run for president and now he doesn't. It's just nuts, man. It seems like anybody can run for president nowadays. You know that this is not a joke. Um, you know, you're the, running for president is not a joke. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to get here. People are losing, you know, the seriousness, seriosity of. I don't even know if that's a word. I'm exi- I, you know, I invent words sometimes, like. Uh, yeah, it seems like I invent words sometimes, <laughs> but I don't even know if seriosity. I think it is. I think it exists, right? Um, the noun of serious. Okay, so, you know, it seems like people don't have the seriousness or seriosity of what it is to be a president. You know, the responsibility, this is not a game, you know what I mean? You're running, you're talking about running for a country. Now, uh, what's worse is this, what I'm trying to get at is that people are following this. People are following this. I'm not going to, I don't doubt, okay? I put this in Twitter, you know, commenting on their Twitter tweets about this issue, um, about this campaign, okay, uh, that I put it in some, you know, res- in responses that what's sad, what's even worse is that many will probably, millions will probably follow him. Millions will probably follow him and vote for Kanye if he, if he's really going to take this, you know, if he's going to go all the way in this campaign. I don't doubt that millions are going to follow him, you guys. That's how sad this is because... Why? Because we're in a generation, guys, and this is around the world. Millennials, man. I mean, I'm not saying everybody, but we're in a generation, Generation Z, whatever you want to call it, right? I don't even know what the heck they call it nowadays. Um, it's lost, man. I mean, a lot of people don't even, you know. I mean, you go, you go, you know, to you know, a lot of people have done it before. YouTubers or what have you, where they go or whoever, reporters go to you know young people nowadays i'm not saying everybody i'm not saying that i don't know but you know they ask about the presidents uh, historically speaking and questions of history nobody really knows you know and, and it's sad you know and, and a lot of people don't know what it means to be really a, a real a real president uh, an ideal leader you're talking about just leadership of a little group of a, of a company of of you know any enterprise uh maybe a director maybe a principal of a school you know, you have teachers under you, you have staff under you. That's a hard job. You know, those those those, those tasks are hard. <clears throat> being the uh, coach of a football team, you know, being a, a, a coach, a trainer of a basketball team, it's hard work. It's not easy. We're talking about little groups now. Now you you know you 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 open the panorama. You know, uh, being a president of a country, it's not easy. It's not easy. They're the most criticized. You know, we're talking about privacy, their privacy's gone. Their private life is gone. You have to be the perfect ideal models. Your family, your kids. If you have kids, they have to also, you know, because it's the image. Image is everything nowadays, unfortunately, you know. Um, I say unfortunately because, you know, image is not everything. When we talk about reality, you know, as human beings, image shouldn't be everything. We can't judge books by their cover. That's why you get that phrase. You can't judge a book by their cover, you know what I mean? Even if we have a suit and tie. Many a times, suit and tie people are the most corrupt, you know, not all the time, but, you know, a lot of the time. You know what I mean? 
So, so I mean, I'm just talking about the seriousness of being a president of any country. You know, a lot of countries are. I mean, most com- countries are corrupt anyway. So, I mean, but you know, I've said it before too. Uh, I think it's one of the George Floyd video. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, Ahmad Arbery. I think it was my first video I covered about him. You know, rest in peace. Um, when that issue went down. I talked about how, you know, some countries show more corruptness than others. You know what I mean? Every country's corrupt. It's just to what degree or, you know, how hidden it is or how open it is. You know, the corruption in each country. Um, so, I mean, every country's corrupt. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, you, I mean, presidents of countries, especially of the United States, man. I'm focusing on the United States. You know what I mean? Because my heart's over there. I love the United States. I love the U.S., man. I grew up over there. The culture's in my heart. It's in my heart. You know what I mean? And, you know, that's no joke to be running for president. You, uh, and, and for Kanye West to, to campaign and to throw a campaign like this and to act the way he's acting and has been acting for years. <clears throat> a lot of people talking about, like I said, going back to that, that people on social media saying he has to get checked. You know, he's not healed. That's a, you know, when people are not healed and talk about emotional issues the way, you know, and I'm not downgrading that, no way, I mean, I, I feel for Kanye, you know what I mean, I feel for Kanye in that aspect, that, you know, he's crying, and, you know, he just started breaking down, he just started breaking down about, you know, those those issues in life, we all have issues in life, you know, uh, but people get healed, you know, time heals it, therapy heals it, uh, you know, there are different ways to, to, to heal those things, you know, the, those scars, those, uh, you know, those, those, those scars in our heart and our minds, psychological, psychological scars, emotional scars, you know, heart scars in the heart. It takes time and you know, maturity, growth, strength, perseverance, therapy to 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 go get over those things. And a lot of people talk about those things, you know, under control. That's my point here. Kanye doesn't, you know what I mean? And you're running for president, man, and you can't even control these, you know, these things that has ha- that have happened to you. You know, Kanye's a successful man. He's a really, really successful guy, man. I mean, whatever endeavors he has apart from hip hop, you know, uh, you know, like I said, fashion. I mean, I don't, but you know, the fashion or whatever, his fashion line, whatever, clothes line and stuff. Um, you know, he's a really successful guy, and to be, you know, not to be whole. In your psychological, you know, uh, in your psychological aspects, or you know, not to be whole and not to be healed in those things in your heart and your emotions, to be so successful—that's a dangerous combination. And you're running for president, man. I mean, what's going on, man? I mean, what what's going on? Uh, this is not, you know, a lot of people see it funny or whatever. I mean, I. <laughs> Yeah, I know you see this thumbnail on my screen, right? It's funny. It is because I, you know, got to have humor sometimes. But uh, this is this goes deeper. You know what I mean? Look at the kid. Look at the kid. He he can't even believe it. this little baby can't even believe it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I put this for a reason. Look at look at Kanye there. I put it there. I, you know, I, I did a little cropping and stuff like that. And it just goes to show, man. He's not fit. For, that's his, that, that's the purpose of this 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 thumbnail. He's not fit to be president, man. He's not even fit. You know, I don't know what other. I can't find the words. You know what I mean? But uh, this is serious, and, and you know, as far as you don't, you you don't play around with running for president, man. You you shouldn't play with that. And um, it's really sad if what I'm saying is, is true that a lot of people will vote for this and back this and support this. I mean, I hope I'm proven wrong. Who knows, right? Maybe he'll go far in being a president. <laughs> maybe, maybe he'll be voted as president. I mean, that that would be that would be some stuff. That would be wow. I don't know what else to say, man. So, Renee Box Young, what do you guys think? You know what I mean? I really do think he needs to be healed. You know, I I don't. Yeah, I think he needs to be healed. He needs to, you know, get some therapy therapy, and just heal, man. And you know, analyze, do some self reflection, and heal. You know, to be better in in, in your endeavors and, and the things that he does. That you know, and his endeavors and the things that he does and his projects. But what it is, what it is, man. Renee Box Young, thank you so much. Like, subscribe, share this. You know, spread the word. You know, because I have a different insight on these kind of things. You know what I mean? And I'm sure a lot of people think the same. You know what I mean? And I'm I'm sharing it through this platform. So comment below too. What do you guys think? Um, who knows where this is going to lead to, right? But I don't think it should lead far, man. I sh- it should not. But thank you guys so much, man. Renee Box Young. We'll see where this leads to, man. Peace out, fam. Stay safe.